Hello everyone, Mcon with the next episode of our Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. We're out here in the Korkari Wilds and we're about to retrieve some really cool scrolls with treaties for our wardens, which I'm sure ooh, great wooden outpost, cool, will prove really helpful. It's cash I don't think it's supposed to be crumpled like that. Well, Hello. well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? Hmm. What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Hmm. I'm neither. The Grey Wardens once owned this tower. Tis a tower no longer. The Wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. <laughs> She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Mm. You can call me Durin. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky... Witch thief! <laughs> How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Then who was it that removed them, Morrigan? Twas my mother, in fact. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? <laughs> a thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? <laughs> Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Hmm. I want an honest answer. Are you a witch of the wilds? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages who appear and lay a claim on her... Th if you wish to tell your chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. Why are you interested in helping us? Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Mm. I say we go with her. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. On we go. Oh, Morgan. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. 
She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dabbeth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? <laughs> there is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? Hmm. I'm no fool, if that's what you're asking. Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded witch <laughs> of the wild. Witch of the wild, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. <laughs> and why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Hmm. How do you know all this? Do I? Perhaps I am simply an old woman with a penchant for mold departments. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Not terribly kind. So, that character there, whose name has not yet been revealed to us, even though I happen to know who it is, uh, is voiced by one of my uh, favorite TV actors. Um, she was the voice of Captain Catherine Janeway. I think it's Katie Mulgrew. Uh, is the actress and uh, she's got a great voice so I, I really enjoyed that hearing that my first time going through that was pretty cool All right, we're back at the camp but let's see yeah I want to see if I can get to that chest now maybe the tranquil has gone being so late at night oh oh and we can talk to the camera master is stable for now but not improving unless I get that herb I told you about there's not much hope is this the flower you're looking for? Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Now give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. All right. He looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Uh, hmm. How long before there's an improvement? A day, maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Do you think that's possible? Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. <laughs> Come back after the battle and just... or take another look. Terribly optimistic of him. I think we'll be back here after the battle. Yes, the Tranquil's gone! Whoo! Health poultice, injury kit, spirit balm, a flask, Enchanter's Arming Cap, Apprentice Cowl, Iced Band. Very nice. Alright. So let's find that Iced Band, because at least that I can... Oh, oh, right. And the Enchanted Dagger. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay. We'll place you. Good. And then... A fire bolts, Ice Arrow, Fire Arrow. We'll use... We'll put the Fire Arrow in for now. Okay, and oh, I could wear this. Mental resistance, I might as well, since I don't... Ugh, I look stupid. Uh, and then the iced band gives me extra cold resistance. So now I've got 20% cold resistance. It's kind of cool. Alright. I've got a stupid looking hat on. Quartermaster! Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Indeed. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Alright. Um, let's see. We can sell the axe. All the daggers. We 
don't need that great sword. I guess. We don't need the short bow for certain. I guess I'll keep the staff and the enchanter's stuff for now. Um, I didn't need any more of you guys. Didn't want you or you. I'll keep you for now. We can sell that. Sell you and you and you. Okay, small clear fire crystal. Oh, right, 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 right. I remember these. We'll sell all you wolf pelts. Okay, so these these crystals are part of, there's a DLC companion added, uh, and these are things that can be equipped on him, so I'm going to keep that around for now. Alright, thank you. Now then, let's go see about that joining. Duncan! So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Maybe we should tell you about uh, Morrigan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Okay. Now, will you tell us what this ritual is all about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. Is that why the joining is so secret? If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Oh boy, oh boy. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Stop yammering. You're giving me a headache. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Mm. Including sacrificing us. I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. You make a good point. You saw those darkspawn tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... Oh boy. ...those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining. But these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. All right, Davith. Make us 
breath. He's probably gonna be. Okay. I am sorry, Aveth. Or maybe not. Step forward, Jory. But Sir Jory, come on. I have a wife, a child. Had I known. There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. <clears throat> Duncan. I am sorry. Uh, uh, but the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Here goes nothing. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. <laughs> that makes two of us. How do you feel? Mm. Nothing you said prepared me for that. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. For me, you shouldn't have. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. What kind of meeting? The King is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Alright. Oh, hey! We leveled up! Items received. What did we get? We got more da- Okay, so we got all the stuff that they had equipped. Just a regular arrow? Weird. Okay. All that stuff. Warden's Oath. Plus two constitution. Yeah, why not? Put that on for now. Alright. We'll level up. Um, cunning. Let's see. Okay, right. Uh, we're gonna put some more into dexterity. And another into... Put another into willpower again. Okay. Here we go. So I've got locks up as high as I can. I don't need combat movement below the belt. Uh, penalties of defense and movement. So it's not a bad idea. Uh, I do want to get some archery stuff up though. Crippling shot, scattering shot. Uh, we'll go with crippling shot. Inflicts normal damage, but uh, target is hampered with his attack and defense. Alright. Wait, did I level up again? Oh, I have another talent. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put it in scattering shot then. Alright, so we've got Scattering Shot and Crippling Shot. Cool. And of course we should always have Rapid Shot enabled. Alright. King's Meeting's just over here. Loghain, King Kaelin. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. 
I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Olesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Oh. Okay. I'll do my best, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle will of not Magi... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. How foreboding. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Hmm. I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn. Exciting or no? I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing it <laughs> Darkspawn will know. Way to take a stand, Alistair. I have my dignity. Well, some. Hmm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. When do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. <sighs> what if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. <laughs> if it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Are we in any danger? Of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. All right. The Tower of Ishal. I guess that's where we're headed. Uh, which way out of here? Straight and to the right. To the tower! 
Since the mages are done uh, chanting, is there anything to loot here? Uh, I figured there wasn't. Yep, nothing there. Okay. Onwards then. Best cinematic scenes in video game history. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishao. All right, reasonably impressive. But uh, guys, I think that's where we're gonna call this as the battle begins. We're going to go ahead and uh, say goodbye. Next time, we'll get to the Tower of Ishao for you. Until then, have a good one, everyone. Bye, all.